Hey there, health warriors. Ever wondered why the carnivore diet might work for you? The answer lies in our evolutionary past. Humans are built to eat meat. Our ancestors, the hunter-gatherers, thrived on a diet rich in animal products. They hunted, fished, and gathered their food from the wild. Over time, our bodies evolved to digest and derive nutrients from these foods efficiently. This diet is not just about eating meat, but rather, consuming nutrient-dense, satiating foods that our bodies are designed to thrive on. The carnivore diet is thus an attempt to reconnect with our ancestral eating patterns, focusing on foods that are biologically appropriate for our species. It's about listening to your body and eating what makes you feel good. So if you're ready to embark on a culinary journey back in time, stay tuned as we delve deeper into what you can eat on a carnivore diet. But before we move on, if you're finding this guide helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our video. Your support helps us create more content like this. So what exactly can you eat on a carnivore diet? Well, the carnivore diet is all about indulging in the foods our ancestors thrived on, meat and animal products. This diet encourages you to focus on the animal products you enjoy. The carnivore diet is a smorgasbord of beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Let's call this the BBB and E. These foods form the cornerstone of this dietary approach, but it doesn't stop there. You can also enjoy a variety of other meats including poultry and seafood. To give you a better idea, let's go through a typical day on the carnivore diet. For breakfast, you might enjoy a hearty serving of eggs paired with your choice of meat. This could be anything from bacon to sausage or even ground beef. When it comes to dinner, you have a range of options. You could opt for different cuts of beef like ribeye, skirt steak, or short ribs. If you're in the mood for something different, chicken wings, pork chops, and a variety of seafood are also on the menu. Now you might be thinking, is it all just meat and eggs? Well the answer is no. The carnivore diet also allows for high fat variations in recipes. You could explore creative concoctions like chocolate beef butter bites. Yes, you heard that right, it's all about making this diet enjoyable and sustainable for you. The goal is not just about eating meat but rather, consuming nutrient-dense satiating foods that our bodies are designed to thrive on. It's about listening to your body and eating what makes you feel good. Transitioning to a carnivore diet can be a delectable journey of culinary exploration. It provides an opportunity to rediscover the simple yet profound joy of eating real whole foods. So, whether you're a steak lover, a bacon enthusiast, or a seafood aficionado, the carnivore diet has something to offer you. Just remember, the key is to focus on animal products you enjoy and feel satisfied with. One common issue when starting the carnivore diet is the keto flu. It's not an illness per se, but rather a collection of symptoms that can surface when your body is transitioning from a carbohydrate-based diet to a fat-based one. These symptoms often include fatigue, headache, irritability, difficulty focusing, lack of motivation, dizziness, nausea, stomach pain, and even insomnia. Now, don't let these symptoms intimidate you. They are temporary and can be effectively managed. When your body is adjusting to the new diet, it can sometimes struggle to retain water and salt, leading to these symptoms. This is where electrolytes come into play. They help balance the water and salts in your body, thereby easing these symptoms. One recommended brand is Element. Add one packet to 16 to 24 ounces of water in the morning to help curb these symptoms. It's a simple way to keep your body balanced as it adjusts to the new eating regime. Don't forget these symptoms are temporary and can be managed effectively. How much should you eat on a carnivore diet? That's a question on many minds and the answer might be simpler than you think. It's not about counting calories or measuring portions to the gram. On the carnivore diet, the rule of thumb is to eat until you're comfortably full at each meal. If you find your appetite decreasing initially, it's a good idea to schedule regular meal times and stick to them. This approach is often referred to as priming, where you aim to eat three large meals a day for the first few weeks. As for the general guidelines, women are encouraged to consume at least one and a half pounds of meat per day. Men on the other hand should aim for at least two pounds. It's essential to meet a minimum protein intake, typically one gram of protein per pound of your ideal body weight. Listen to your body and eat enough to feel satisfied. Should you track your food intake on a carnivore diet? This question often surfaces when embarking on this dietary journey. Initially, it can be beneficial to monitor your food consumption. Why? Because it's a great way to understand your nutrient intake. You get a clear picture of the amount of protein, fat, and calories you're consuming. This can be instrumental in making necessary adjustments 
to meet your individual health goals. However, there's also room for intuitive eating on the carnivore diet. This approach encourages listening to your body's hunger cues and eating accordingly, rather than sticking to a rigid tracking system. Some people find this method more liberating and sustainable in the long run. It's about finding what works best for you. So, whether you track your food or not, depends on your personal needs and goals. How often should you eat meals on a carnivore diet? The answer varies from person to person. However, a good starting point is at least two meals per day. This structure provides a balance between nourishing your body and giving your digestive system a break. As get more comfortable with the diet, feel free to adjust your meal frequency based on your hunger cues and lifestyle needs. Now, let's talk about snacking. In the carnivore diet, snacking is generally not necessary. This is because the high protein and fat content of your meals should keep you satisfied between mealtimes. However, you do find yourself needing a little something. Opt for carnivore-friendly snacks. These could be items like hard-boiled eggs, beef jerky, or leftover meat from your last meal. The key is to listen to your body and respond accordingly. It's important to note the goal is not to feel hungry or deprived. It's important to remember that the carnivore diet isn't an overnight fix. As with any lifestyle change, the journey to seeing results requires time, patience, and persistence. You're not just flipping a switch, you're rewiring your body's dietary responses. And that takes time. And remember, progress isn't just a number on the scale, it's how you feel in your own skin. It's the clarity of your thoughts, the reduction in pain levels. It's your clothes fitting a little better, your energy levels rising. It's those small victories that keep you going. There may be bumps along the road, days when you question your choices, but keep in mind, every step you take, no matter how small, is a step forward. So, let's not get hung up on the scale or compare ourselves to others. Let's focus on what really matters, our personal journey, and the improvements we're making along the way. Success on the carnivore diet comes from personal progress and consistency. Planning your meals can be a game-changer when following a carnivore diet. It helps eliminate the guesswork, reduces the temptation to deviate from the diet, and ensures you're getting the right balance of nutrients. So, let's talk about a simple two-week meal plan to get you started. Week 1 and 2, you'll have two meals per day. For breakfast, think eggs and a choice of meat. Bacon, sausage, or ground beef could be your go-to. Dinner could be a variety of beef cuts like ribeye, skirt steak, or short ribs. An occasional serving of chicken wings, pork chops, or seafood adds variety. The goal is to eat until you're comfortably full at each meal. Now it's important to note that these are just suggestions. The beauty of the carnivore diet lies in its simplicity and flexibility. You're encouraged to adjust the plan according to your preferences and needs. If you enjoy a particular type of meat or find a certain meal keeps you satisfied longer, feel free to make it a staple in your diet. If you're looking for a more personalized approach, joining the carnivore community could be beneficial. It's a space where you can share your experiences, ask questions, and learn from others who are on the same journey. Transitioning to a carnivore diet can be challenging, but with the right plan and support, it becomes significantly easier. And don't lose sight of the fact you're not alone on this journey. Utilize available resources and community support to enhance your experience. If you found this guide helpful and want to continue your carnivore diet journey with us, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. By hitting the subscribe button, you'll receive regular updates and notifications every time we post a new video. This way, you can stay on top of the latest carnivore diet tips, meal plans, and discussions. If you found this video informative and helpful, show your support by giving us a big thumbs up. Your likes help us understand what content you enjoy and find useful. It also helps other people in the YouTube community discover our videos. And finally, if you know someone who's considering the carnivore diet or could benefit from the information in this video, don't hesitate to share it with them. Sharing is caring, and the more we share, the more we can grow our carnivore community and help each other on this health journey. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more carnivore diet tips and tricks. Together, let's make the carnivore lifestyle a success.